In a demonstration of maritime sovereignty, Indonesia's Maritime Security Agency, Bakamla RI, successfully intercepted and expelled a Chinese Coast Guard vessel, CCG-5402, from Indonesian waters in the North Natuna Sea on October 25, 2024. The Chinese vessel had been obstructing seismic survey activities led by PT Pertamina East Natuna, a state-owned oil and gas enterprise. The altercation began when Bakamla RI's command and control center, Puskadal, received intelligence that CCG-5402 was obstructing the activities of PT Pertamina East Natuna survey vessel, MV Geo Coral, which was conducting 3D seismic data analysis on Indonesia's continental shelf. To ensure the safe operation of MV Geo Coral, it was accompanied by three chase vessels, UB Anudra Bursama 17, HD PSB Roller, and TB Telic Bajo Victory, within the operational zone, which falls squarely within Indonesia's recognized maritime boundaries. Following the report, Bakamla immediately dispatched the Indonesian state vessel, KN Tanjung Datu, 301 to the area. At 5.30 a.m. Western Indonesian time, KN Tanjung Dat, 301 confirmed the presence of CCG 5402, located 7.3 nautical miles away and asserting claims over the territory as Chinese jurisdiction. Indonesia refuted this claim, standing firm on its legal rights to the area. Soon after, at around 5.38 a.m., Bakamla received reinforcement from the Indonesian Navy, TNIAL, including the patrol vessel KRI Sutiti Seneputera 378 and a maritime patrol aircraft. Together, the Indonesian forces effectively monitored and pressured the Chinese vessel, leading to its eventual expulsion from Indonesia's jurisdictional waters in the North Natuna Sea. In response to the incident, China's foreign ministry stated during a routine press conference that Chinese Coast Guard vessels were patrolling waters under China's jurisdiction, based on both international and domestic laws. Despite this, the ministry expressed willingness to negotiate with Indonesia to address maritime disputes, underscoring the ongoing complexity of regional maritime boundaries. While Indonesia has maintained a neutral stance in the larger South China Sea sovereignty disputes, China's expansive 9-line claim overlaps with Indonesia's exclusive economic zone, EZ, near the Natuna Islands, creating a recurring point of contention. The Natuna region is rich in natural resources, making it an area of particular interest and strategic importance to both nations. Notably, this incursion by the Chinese Coast Guard occurred within a week of Prabowo Subianto's inauguration as Indonesia's new president. Shortly after his swearing-in, Prabowo met with China's Vice President Han Jing, and these recent tensions in the Natuna Sea could be interpreted as a test of his administration's stance on sovereignty and cooperation with China. In recent years, China has shown interest in collaborating with Indonesia to develop the North Natuna Sea, but these recent incursions raise questions about the balance between collaboration and territorial assertion. The timing of these incidents may also reflect China's intent to gauge Indonesia's stance on maintaining jurisdictional integrity while exploring diplomatic avenues. The expulsion of CCG 5402 underscores Indonesia's commitment to protecting its maritime boundaries and exercising sovereignty over its waters. As Indonesia continues seismic surveys in the North Natuna Sea, further tensions may arise, especially with China's continued presence in disputed waters. This incident reaffirms Indonesia's stance on defending its territorial waters and maintaining control over vital natural resources. But Kamla RI and TNIAL have proven effective in asserting Indonesia's sovereignty and responding swiftly to foreign incursions, setting a precedent for future encounters in the region.